Let's do a quick walkthrough through the Pro Connect software for the Hearback Pro. Under Devices, you'll be able to click on the Hub. We can select the brightness of the front LEDs. There's a configuration option for configuring your hub to whichever input cards you have. Still under devices, if we click on a mixer, we can see that we can control the levels of each channel individually, if we so choose. And that reflects real time on the mixer that is connected. And then there's other options at the bottom, main volume, and we can adjust the intercom features volume. You can actually engage the intercom down at the bottom. And then if you want to, you can, by grabbing that side of the mixer, you can drag it into group, new group, ungroup. You can kind of select where that grouping is, which is a lot easier than trying to do it on the mixer itself. And there are so many settings that you can adjust. Um, you can control grouping. You can control artist lockout, uh, where the artist on their mixer only has control of certain things um, if you want them to just have select control. Um, for more advanced tricks, you have the compressor and limiter options down at the bottom where you can control threshold, attack, and release timing for some effects. Um, but this is a, a nice deep feature. On the lower right hand side of the mixer page, we can select the mode from normal to banked, and then we can use the arrows at the bottom to bank between channels. So now you're seeing channel 1 through channel 32. And then if we unselect it, it goes back to the preset option. If we connect another mixer, we can see that under configuration, there's a way to share a mix from one mixer to another. Let's rename a mixer. So all you do is click on the mixer under devices, click on the edit mark at the top, and type in your mixer name. Any changes here will also reflect on the mixer that you have connected. We can also remap channels to different knobs in this section. So just select the channel you want mapped to that knob, and there you go. And if you want to unmap it, you bring that back up and hit unmap. And here you can also create submixes for one knob. So you go to the channel that you want it to be mixed to, you click New, and it brings up an Edit Submix page. You'll just select the inputs that you want to mix to that submix. So we, in this case, we want input 7 and input 10. And select your levels on each of those inputs for that mix. And then you can rename your submix at the bottom if you like type it in, and then over to the right, you'll hit the Save button. And as it creates your submix, it will load, and you should see that reflected on the Pro Connect app and also on the mixers. So when you bring it up, everything should match nicely, and there you have your submix on your number three knob. We can also click Identify and make it flash the lights on the mixer that we're working on. Another feature we have here is the text message. You can send a text message to a specific mixer. So the mixer that you're on. And if you want to send a message to every mixer that's connected, just click the text message icon next to all the pro mixers, and that'll send it to everybody who's connected. And we can rename each channel individually, whatever we want. If, you're, if you have drums on one, you can name it drums. If you have vocals on two, name it vocals. Um, or you can choose the name of the artist, we also have the ability to stereo link two channels just by checking a checkbox. Under sessions, we can create a session and save it. Um, we can adjust channel names and everything and then save it to our computer for use later where we can load it again if that same band comes in and needs that same setting and the same names on their mixers. And if you want to load one mix on another mixer, you can do that in this area here. You just map it to a different mixer and then make sure you have all of your settings the way you want and then hit load. Sometimes updates to firmware for the hub or the pro mixer will come up and this is where you'll find it. Um, you can update your pro mixer, your pro hubs from here. Um, and it will tell you over to the right the status of where 
if you need to update or if your uh, system is current. As long as you have your ProHub connected through a network, you should be able to connect any mobile device through that network as well. Down at the bottom left, there's an icon on this page that'll bring up the link to connect your phone. And if at any point you're having difficulty connecting your hub, or if you just need extra help, you can find a quick reference guide through this app or through the support tab on our website. We hope you like the new Pro Connect for the Hearback Pro.